I race Ironman because it's a passion, obstacles to overcome. I like setting goals that seem unachievable and then knocking them out of the water. If you're looking for challenges and you're doing triathlons, you want to move up to Ironman. I own every Hawaii Ironman on DVD or VCR. Yes, VCR. <laughs> you see those people that do that race and the obstacles that they overcome and you have no excuses. When I first told people I was going to do an Ironman, they just kind of gave me this look of, wow, that's great, good for you. But I could tell in the back of their minds they knew it was never going to happen. Nobody said I could do it. They said, you can't do Ironman. I am 75 pounds overweight, and I'm going to be an Ironman. When times are tough out there on the race course, I just think about my mom and what she's had to go through. She's battling cancer for the third time right now. so. This is nothing. I can do the longest triathlon there is. I can do this. Hardest part about training for an Ironman is having a job and a life. You have to find time to train around your regular work schedule. It's taken a lot of juggling to put this all together. When I'm here, it's, I know why, why I train. I feel like I'm 21 years old, but I'm 82. The toughest thing about training for an Ironman for me has probably been a lot of monotony. I've really enjoyed all the training. Is that bad? <laughs> Crossing the finish line in an Ironman is the most amazing experience ever. Just seeing that finish line and hearing, you are an Ironman again, um, I, it, it's all special. It's very exhilarating, almost to the point where you just take off. And I go over the finish line, it's a big goal, and I, it's, it's, it's a dream every time again. Well, it's the most important thing that I've ever done in my life. Uh, out of body experience that you never forget for the rest of your life. You will not learn as much about yourself any time in your life as in the last hour of Ironman. To be able to share it with your friends and your family, that's the most special thing in the world. I just want my wife and my, my daughter to be able to see me cross the finish line. I can't wait to have that awesome experience of crossing the finish line by midnight. I am a mother. I'm a firefighter. I'm 73 years old. I'm 82 years old, and I'm still an Iron Man. I will be an Iron Man. The thing that uh, frightens me the most about this race is uh, the swim portion and uh, get my nerves under control. And as soon as the gun goes off, it's just everything's out there, so I don't get nervous anymore. Really, I don't want to walk. I want to be running the whole time. Waking up early, it's something that I can't stand, but I've just got to do. I'm more concerned with having all these people tracking me at home and, you know, don't want to, don't want to let them down. So. Uh, if I make this Ironman, it'll be a miracle. So at this point, I'm going to go have a great time out there, enjoy every moment of it, and uh, cross that finish line. I'm not scared. I'm not afraid. I want to welcome you here. Welcome back to Transition to the 2011 Ironman Florida. Here we are on beautiful Panama City Beach. Two, two, ten, one, yes. Transitions.